beautiful people welcome to my channel welcome to our kitchen i'm glad to have you back it's a bright and sunny morning over here um today we have a very simple recipe we are making chickpea burgers and we'll go straight ahead to our ingredients which are we're using common ingredients ingredients that you have used um, before here we have one and a half a cup of chickpeas which are boiled there we have coriander powder we have himalayan salt we have some paprika here and garlic powder alternatively you can use two cloves of garlic and to our vegetables we have green bell pepper it looks like female i'm not sure <laughs> tell me what you think that's eggplant one medium one we have some onions there we have coriander leaves and you have textured soya protein we'll hydrate it by adding hot water to it what we'll do with our vegetables is we'll wash them and choke them and these chickpeas will add the vegetables to the chickpeas here we in our sufria or pot we have our onions and eggplant and the green bell pepper we adding a little water just aid them to cook also adding our hydrated soya protein or soya means and we'll stir a little and cover in order to allow to cook onions are very good uh, in cooking use as much as you can they are very rich in sulfur compounds that help to fight diseases in our bodies so i covered this and allowed them to cook for five minutes they are soft but not so much and i realized that they were sticking so i added a little water to aid in helping them not to stick I also added a tablespoon of oil I use coconut oil you can use olive oil sunflower oil any preferred oil of your choice so long as it's healthy and oil in this case is going to give it some crunchiness some sweetness you all know this guys so, yeah so I just did this for like a minute then I added my seasonings. There I'm adding my garlic, my salt. I've added my paprika and my coriander powder. And my coriander leaves. And I'll stir this in order to enable the seasonings to infuse in the vegetables well. They're looking beautiful. So at this point we'll transfer them to our chickpeas what i forgot to tell you is that you we had to mash the chickpeas first before adding the vegetables and so it was difficult for me i decided to add it to my food processor nonetheless ensure you cook the chickpeas until soft prior to mixing with your vegetables otherwise the food processor worked well for me as you can see and it was crumbly i processed it until the desired consistency then after this we'll transfer it to our bowl and form burger shapes as you can see it's holding to each other in case it's not holding for you you can do flax seeds or psyllium husks so this is what I did. I just used the parchment paper that I had used before. I shaped them like this. And this will go to the oven for 15 minutes on each side at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. At this point, I'm turning and they're becoming crumbly. So you turn and then allow them to cook for another 15 minutes 
and this is how they came out some held firmly and here we have them on our plate I'll be having this with an avocado that I had bought earlier and had not ripened and now it's ready remember when you ate this you ate to the glory of God remember to be a channel of light wherever you are um, try this tell me what you think of this recipe I'll be glad to get your feedback otherwise have a blessed week bye